spend most of my nights in Live Oak Park, up where the woods are real thick. That's where I was last night a few hours before that cop picked me up. I was just sleeping. I got woke up by some noise. Two men talking loud. It was Malcolm and Randy Littleton. I could see they were, they were digging a hole. And I saw there was something laying there next to them. A body. They were burying a body not 15 yards from where I was asleep. Uh-uh. You get a look at the victim? No. But if you let me walk, I'll tell you exactly where that body is. Huh? In fact, if you need me to, I'll, uh, I'll testify against the little tins in court. You're sure these are the two men you saw? I don't need pictures to be sure. Where I come from, everyone knows what Malcolm and Randy Littleton look like. All right, Mr. Paul. Any clemency is dependent on the arrest and successful prosecution of the Littletons. Mm -hmm. I understand. And I promise the information's good. You want something? Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm uh, Agent Epps with the FBI. This is Agent Hall. You were on Wiley's last night? Might have been. Some counterfeit money showed up in the register, $10 bills. Bartender seemed to notice you spending ten dollar bills. Well, that bartender was drunker than I was. Like nothing but twenties. I remember because I uh, I just hit the ATM. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Welling, you need it's to calm not... down. I told you the VA burned all my files. Now my back is killing me. I can barely walk. Oh, you're standing. Look, it's a miracle. Morris. The guy needs psych. They've seen him five times in the last three months. He's not getting admitted. Are you having any uh, suicidal thoughts? Hell no. I'm not going to kill myself. I'm going to kill him. BP's elevated. We could call medicine, see if Just they have a bed. Just let him go. Why do you care? I'm going to frag his red-headed ass, then I'm going to piss all over his useless corpse. Mr. Welling. Hey, Mr. Welling, wait. I'm going to make you cry. The doctor said I might not walk again. What do you say? I don't know. I don't want to believe that. What does your family think? My family? It's a joke. It's just me and my girl. What's her name? It's Claire. She says it wouldn't make any difference to her, but I don't know about that. Let me ask you this. Do you love Claire? Sure I do. And you have to believe that she loves you too. Let me ask you something. What would you think if you were her? I would know that who you are inside hasn't changed. Do you believe in God? I made a commitment to follow God unconditionally. And then some things happened in my life, and it made me question my faith. What about now? Now I just have to trust that he has a plan for me. <sighs> you think he has a plan for me? I know he does. Yeah, I remember her. And her punk in shining armor. He wasn't a cool guy? He would stiff me twice, bro. Rents my wave runner, doesn't bring it back, and his cheap ass plastics got a 2K limit. I'm out five grand. Ouch. Did they look like a couple to you? She was a pretty girl with a problem. You know, he knew an in when he saw one. Babe, you got a credit card? No, no, one I'm just dead. We got a we got a line here. Yeah, you know, one step you aside. So you think they just met? It's a hot day. Something must have been in the air. We're gonna need to look at your rental log, if you don't mind. Go crazy. This is my roommate, Spiro. It's his apartment. <laughs> I know you. Bad. Yeah. So how'd the two Hannigan kids ever end up like this? I don't know. On the skids. <laughs> I remember the way our sainted mother. Oh, stop it! And <laughs> croon us oh. her lullaby. She said, kids, there's a place that's like no other. You gotta get there before you die. You don't get there by playing. Amazing. Ah, 